yes so i was talking about uh cloud computing okay now this is about cloud now the third one question that we were looking is what are the different vendor available in the cloud uh, cloud okay the different available uh, different vendor available in the market who are the different vendor available in the market let's see that so do you know any vendor who is the vendor other than gcp google no sir okay so other than gcp other than google cloud other vendors that are is aws have you heard this term aws uh, yes sir so this is amazon web service it means it is another most popular cloud then another have you heard microsoft azure yep so this is one of the another cloud service then there are a few more ibm cloud then this is a company specific cloud ibm cloud oracle cloud so this is a company specific cloud and there are many more available but the more popular is uh, your aws first is a uh, uh, gcp which means google cloud platform Uh, google cloud platform gcp first is this one next is your uh, aws amazon okay it belong to amazon company and the microsoft azure ibm cloud oracle cloud so these are the vendor that are more popularly available in the market and we are using that in our syllabus i will going to cover gcp cloud okay google cloud why because you are already familiar with gmail okay gmail is a product of google right so gmail is a product of google and gmail is a free available cloud service so it won't be difficult for you to understand what actually the cloud service gmail is free available cloud service as you already using uh like gmail to send and receive a mail to save your data in the drive right what are the other product of uh, google cloud you have you used google sheet google docs yes sir, yes, sir. good google slide yeah. google play store then g map google map right so these are all these are all deployed in the cloud these are the application that are running in the google cloud do you know uh, have you heard about this uh, arogya setu app yes sir we have heard about this okay so this uh, do you know this uh, arogya setu app is deployed in which cloud no sir in aws this arogya setu app it is uh, available uh, deployed in aws it mean that this uh, just like gmail which is available in google cloud uh, arogya setu app is available in the aws cloud and you are just using that banking website banking application you tell me one thing uh, are you using net banking right everyone they use net banking so every day lot of transaction data generate so where this data will going to be saved this data will going to be saved in the cloud which banking website are deployed which banking so banks are using okay suppose sbi or various bank they use cloud service to save your data the reason is they don't have to purchase hard disk 
storage every time because every day a lot of data is generated and this data is very confidential as well as useful suppose tomorrow if data hard disk got crash or suppose due to any disaster or due to theft suppose hard disk lost then from where they will going to recover data they will recover data from cloud okay that is why every every company now moving into the cloud every big company they are moving into the cloud and they need people they need a candidate freshers or experienced person to handle this cloud what are the different designation when you will going to learn about this cloud you will going to get cloud admin cloud administrator which means then cloud engineer if you know about this cloud engineer then data engineer in the cloud then data science with a data scientist then sde software development engineer in gcp or like suppose aws in specific to the aws cloud or azure cloud or like oracle ibm cloud like that demand you are going to see in jd if you are applying uh, for the company you might will going to get a mail like this these are the different designation that you can go for and they are getting a good package while hiring they will not going to see like whether you are from computer science whether you are from biotech whether you are from uh, chemical or whether you are from electrical electronics mechanical no they just will going to see how much you familiar with cloud technologies how much you know about cloud or programming or other domain nowadays uh, companies are not looking for the branch they are looking for your knowledge on the particular domain if you are applying for cloud engineer they will going to ask you about the cloud specific questions and mostly they are hiring fresher for this because fresher can easily learn or move to the any cloud suppose you start with gcp you can move to aws as well azure as well all the cloud are same only the thing is the service name will be different suppose service name is what suppose in gcp cloud the cloud storage is a service name where we save a data in aws it is s3 bucket okay the a uh, storage service known as s3 bucket in azure it is known as storage blob so the name is different but functionality are same all these three services in a different cloud working for saving a data only so this is all about cloud the different vendor that they are available in the market and based on that we have to work now in this syllabus what you will going to learn this is all about a cloud technology okay but in our uh, like training what i will going to explain you first thing in our next session onward that is from tomorrow onward we will going to learn how to create an account in this google cloud see for creating an account you have to enroll with your credit card uh, you have to enter your credit card details here the reason why for authentication that are suppose in future suppose see what what usually the cloud they technique they follow see let me explain you every cloud they give a free access okay aws they give one month access one month free access okay aws will going to give one month free access gcp will give 3 month free access azure will going to give you 1 month free access what does it mean see here while creating an account you have to enter credit card details credit card credential they will not going to de uh, deduct any amount except 2 rupees just to check uh, whether it is an authenticate indian user authenticate person from india and they will going to return you as well they will not going to debit any amount 
based on your uses after three months once trial period over they will going to ask you whether you want to based on the experience on the cloud do you want to use this cloud for your project or for your learning purpose if you agree then you have to pay the bill if you don't agree you don't have to pay the bill you just reply to the mail i don't want to continue so when we'll going to start from tomorrow we'll going to create an account in gcp everyone i will say everyone i will suggest to you create an account with your credit card details it will not going to uh, deduct any amount uh, from your account they will just deduct 2 rupees and they will going to refund you as well just to authorize you just wanted to check you so they give 3 month access in that 3 month access gcp will going to credit 300 dollar on your account account is a gcp account not a bank account so gcp means google cloud will going to give you 300 dollar for 3 month for learning gcp okay in that 300 dollar you can explore gcp services after enrolling if you want to continue then you go ahead for uh, upgrade your account if you don't want to continue then you you don't have to do anything you just reply and not uh, want to go ahead with the cloud service Okay, so this is the thing you you know about it. You know, tomorrow we're going to see how to create an account in GCP. I will going to show you how to create account uh, in GCP. Next thing, once we create an account, everyone I will say please create an account in G GCP because unless you create an account, you won't be able to run the project. And uh, at the end, if you say like, sir, I'm not able to run the project, then it will be difficult, right? So just think for the future, uh, like if you create an account and you will start doing parallelly with me, you will be a, become a master in the cloud. But if you don't create account, then you won't learn. So create an account with credit card detail. It won't deduct any amount from your account. I'm repeating that it will not going to deduct any amount except two rupees. That also it will going to refund you within 24 hour or something in some time. It this credit card entry why we requires for authorization purpose. Okay, so once you create an account, you can use service as many as. For three months, okay, three month free trial, you can access the services and they will going to uh, credit $300. Let me show you uh, in my account. I think uh, if you just see here, nothing uh, charge has been debited because I am not upgrade, but I'm still using this Google cloud, right? If you do not uh, create an account, you won't be able to open this as well. So is it clear about cloud computing? Any question till here? Anyone do you want to know anything about the cloud? Anyone having any question here? No, sir. No, no, sir. Okay, great.